The Story of Sarah Farman, Part 12, Happy Ending. For Sarah, the memory of Jeff asking her to marry him will never fade. It is a joyous memory. They did marry in the small church of Farmore, and all their friends came to witness the joining of Sarah and Jeff. The two of them had the best time imaginable. It was a perfect and magical day. Sam, her dad, was there. Marina, Jeff's sister, was there. Emily from Shell Hill came and was a great help handling all the flowers. Jeff's grandmother from Farmore, since she lived so close, was definitely there, claiming that she was the one who got them together in the first place. A couple of friends from her old job near Howe Street showed up, and the owner of Fred Simpson Shoes. Her dad's old friend was there, although he was getting very old now. Many people that were friends of her grandmother said they would not miss it for anything, and told Sarah she was the most beautiful bride. Though Sarah thought of her grandmother many times that day, Sarah hoped no one would mention her name because it would make Sarah cry. She always missed her grandmother and thought about her frequently. Many friends from wearables came too, and it was a great time. After the wedding, Jeff and Sarah spent a week in New York and had the time of their lives, seeing all the sights together, Times Square, the Statue of Liberty, Broadway. They just had so much fun. Over the next few years, Sarah was promoted several times till she was working directly for the owner. It was hard, stressful work, but rewarding financially. She kept her life simple, except for work. Jeff did very well for himself too, and ended up buying his company. Each of them became quite well off. Then one day Sarah decided she was not interested in all of what she had built. Jeff was getting restless too. Sam, Sarah's dad, had died earlier that year and it really struck Sarah that all this stress was not the life she wanted to live. They both wanted a family and that would be hard living the lives they were leading. Without her dad, Sam, to take care of it, the farm was going to be in trouble soon. They spent a weekend talking about what could be and what they really wanted out of life. With all these things in mind, together they decided to leave their jobs because it was the only way. Jeff sold off his company and Sarah resigned. They moved to the farm. They made a life there. They both wanted a family. First there was Michael, then Jennifer, then William, then little Margaret. They had a house full, and Sarah was a very happy mother. Jeff loved being a dad, and he spent much of his time caring for the children and teaching them about everything he knew, and that was a lot. They loved their dad and mom, and it was a big, happy family. The pond, with Sarah's childhood island, was more like a peninsula, and it had silted in by then, and was only a wet, marshy area now. But the children still found entertaining things to do out there anyway. They did keep a few pigs and a few chickens, but still, they didn't need the money the farm could bring in. Now it was just more about the fun of it. Jeff kept all the equipment in top running order. He didn't need to, but just in case they did decide to plant or harvest, he wanted it all to run perfectly. Sometimes he bought new equipment and would go to a neighbor's farm and help out. Sarah and Jeff lived long and happy lives on the farm and never regretted for even one second their decision to pack it all in and completely change their lives. The End
Thank you for listening to the Sarah Farman series. In the description, you'll find links to all 12 episodes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the Farland channel, how about subscribing? Just click the Farland Howe logo down in the right-hand bottom corner. One further item that I thought I would mention. The inspiration for this Sarah series was one day when I had gotten the news earlier that my childhood friend Wendy had died. I was quite broken up. And as I worked on the area around the pond on Farland One, there are two Farlands by the way, I started thinking about stories, just making them up. And uh, somehow Wendy, my childhood friend that I spent so many wonderful days and hours with, inspired me to write this series. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you'll come back to the channel for some of the other content. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you soon.